Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your full body sweat with weights workout. So this is a no repeat workout where we will work the entire body for strength and cardio using either a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell or both. Since it's no repeat, you can switch in between circuits like I'll be doing or just use what you've got. As always, I'll give you lots of different options, so listen to your body and work to your level. All you need for this workout are dumbbells or a kettlebell or both. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just with a little march or a jog, whatever feels good for you. Get some little arm rolls to the back and to the front. Breathe, you can make them a little bit bigger. We're gonna get a quick warm up to get the blood flowing. Get our muscles warm and ready to go. Whew. Stretch it out here, wave those arms and take them to the back. And let's open up those arms nice and wide. Here we go. Step it out, step it in. Step it out, step it in. So just taking it to the side. Again, dynamic warm up to get a little mobility work, get things warm and ready to go. Let's take it here and breathe. Yes, good. And take it out wide, flat back down and round it up, warming up through your spine. Two more. And last one. Good, hold it here, roll the shoulders over. Yes. Stretch it out. Maybe you're tight like me from a long work day or a long week or a long weekend. Who knows? <laughs> Good. Round it up. I want you to take it here. We're just going to do a little hinge. Touch the toes. Reach it up. Whatever that is for you. If it's just past the knees or if it's all the way down, stay here. Or if it feels good for you, we're going to inchworm it out to that high plank nice and strong inchworm it back all the way up. You can just keep the hinge if you want, but if you can inchworm it out, we get a nice good stretch through our spine, through those muscles, all the way through our body. Last one. And walk it back and bring it up. Good, let's tap and reach across. All right, so let's talk about this workout. 20 minutes stretch, 20-ish minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes sweat, I should say, oh my goodness. Hope you didn't get too excited about a 20 minute stretch. Although I do have some of those videos, you should check them out. All right, Whew. that was my body telling me what it needs after this, right? No, 20 minute sweat, let's get our hearts pumping. Let's get our muscles working. It's gonna move quickly, but it is no repeat. We love no repeat, right? So because of that, you use whatever you are most comfortable with if you have options. Otherwise, if you only have dumbbells, use those dumbbells. If you only have kettlebells, use the kettlebell. Does not matter, but since nothing repeats, you pick. I'm gonna alternate with my circuits between the dumbbells and kettlebells, but if something feels better to you with one than the other, it is up to you. No timed intervals. I don't want you looking at the clock at all because it is gonna go fast, but the way this is gonna work is everything is going to build. So we'll start with your base move, then we'll add on. Then we'll add on again. We'll take it slow, but if for any reason you need to just stick with that base move, do it. You do you. I want you to be where you are today. I don't want you to worry about me or anybody else. You can split up the moves. You can pick one of the two or one of the three, or you can get them all in, but we're going to build it slowly. All right, so you keep going here. Watch me first. I'm going to grab my dumbbells to start. We're gonna start with just your basic plie. We're gonna add on a plie with a drop to a row. And then we're gonna add a plie drop row and then curl it at the top. If you got your kettlebell, you're one in between. Go ahead and grab whatever you got. Plie, here we go. So starting here, drop it low. Squeeze up through the center, zip up in the core. Dumbbells can be resting right here if you got them or down in the center if you wanna force yourself to get low. Yes, again, if you got that kettlebell, you're here. 
Good, I'll keep it close by so you have an idea what it looks like. So drop it down, squeeze it up. Good, keep it going. Chest lifted. Let's go four more. Four, and three, and two. All right, watch me, we're gonna add on. I'm gonna drop my chest as I plie, do the row, up and up. Looks like this, down, row, up and up. Keep it going. So you're gonna feel all the way through the center and the glutes. That is gonna get you sort of a half sumo, sumo deadlift and half of a squat. If you got the kettlebell, down, row, switch it at the top, down, row, you're just alternating in between. Whatever you got, yes. Are we feeling it through the center? I hope so. Four more, four, and up, three, yes, two, one more. All right, we are gonna add on. So watch me, down, row, all the way up, curl. Nice and slow, all the way through. Down, row, all the way up, curl. I'm going hammer curl, up to you. And up, curl, drop it low. If you got your kettlebell, you're gonna do the row and grab with two, or do the row and bring it up, whatever you got. Right, down, and up. Down and up. Keep it going, I know it's long. Let's go two more all the way through. Down. Last one. Good, let's hold that curl. Four, eight, or one kettlebell between the two. Seven, six, breathe. Five, four, Three, two, one, relax. Woo. Give your hands a little break. How's that heart rate? Are you feeling it? I hope so. You can just do a little taps here while you watch me. Dumbbell or kettlebell, I'm gonna stick with dumbbell. We're gonna start with just a wood chop. You can start it slow, go hip to shoulder. Watch how I'm pivoting knees and hips and picking up my feet. Then we're gonna add on a little turn lunge to it. Then we'll add a knee. We'll go right side. We'll go left, zip up the core. Here we go, hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder. Start slow, especially if you got something heavier. Breathe, you got your kettlebell, you got it between two hands as well. If you want, you can extend those arms out a little bit more. Breathe, yes. Good, one more. Now watch me, I'm gonna turn lunge chop up, turn lunge, chop up. You can still do that if you're just going to the hip, to shoulder, just turn and turn. Four more, four and breathe, three, two, one more. I want you to hold it here, knee in and up. You can make it small or really extend, get those arms. Four more, four, three, two, one. Turn to that lunge, eight, whoo, seven. I know I'm throwing a lot at you, but that's why we're getting through it quick. Four more, four, and three, whoo, two, one. Give your hands a little break, little taps. All of that on the other side, then this first little circuit is done. We're gonna wood chop it, shoulder to hip. We're gonna take it longer. We're gonna take it with that lunge. We're gonna get that knee for eight. We'll get that lunge for eight. Zip up in that core, shoulders back. First circuit almost done. Let's finish it out, here we go. Hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder. Yes, breathe, Hup. Good, if you want, extend those arms long. You can either do a pivot or pick up your feet like I'm doing, since I don't have as much space. Yes. If you want, 
lunge, and up. Take it, lunge, and up. Or you can still do, again, hip to shoulder, keep it close, but adding the lunge. Up to you, you can always stick to basics. Three, yes, two, all shoulders, one more. Hold it here, start slow and small. Just bring it in, standing crunch. Get that core, strong arms, bigger if you can, four more. Four, three, two, one. Turn into it, lunge it down, tap back if you need to. It's a great modification always. Good. Last four, then we're getting water. Four, three, two, and one. Relax, catch your breath. Whew. Quick sip. Good work, team. See, so fast, no repeat, except both sides, right? All right, that's what we have coming up for this next circuit. We are gonna take it. Go ahead, hamstring curls, if you wanna keep it moving. Watch me, we're gonna move quickly. I'm gonna use my kettlebell for this. Right, we're gonna take it with a side lunge and up. Side lunge and up. Whew, never mind. We're gonna start it here, and then we'll add either a clean or a press, and then we're gonna add a little reverse lunge. So make sure you have some space. I'm gonna come a little bit forward so I got it. All on one side first, we'll get through it quick. Here we go, dumbbells or kettlebells. My right, your left. Take it down, sit with the hip, drop it up. Start nice and slow, guys. Because we're gonna add on, I want you to take it slow and breathe. Yes! Take it down and up. Three, good, two, one more. Then watch me, if you got your kettlebell, here to here. If you got a dumbbell, you can just do a little curl. It's up to you. Or with the kettlebell, you can do the curl. I know, we did a bunch of curls. We're gonna get them in. Four, three, good, two, one more, watch me. We're gonna do a side lunge, curl, down. Whoo, I said you had to have space, right? Side lunge, cleaner curl, lunge, and press, yes. Down, up, nice and slow. If this feels like too much for your brain, just pick one. One out of those three or one out of those four. Down, or two. Three more, three, high heart rate, right? Arms and legs and core, two, last one, good, ha, relax, catch your breath. Awesome work team, we're gonna keep that kettlebell on this side, whatever side you're moving. Catch your breath, heart rate should be high. We're gonna keep it with a low windmill, I know, a lot of you like to do high, but there's a reason because we're gonna add on. So toe out, kettlebell right in the center, arm up, watch me first, drop it down, bring it up, here we go. Take it down and up. So we're going down the front of the leg, spot the arm up top, shoulder mobility, good stretch for your back, but lots of obliques, right? Let's go four more like this, four, and breathe. Three, two, last one. Watch me right here. Take it down, side knee raise. Bring it up, nice and slow. Take it down and up, in. Slow and controlled. We're keeping it slow on purpose, but you should be feeling it all the way through that side. And arm mobility, flexibility, four, and breathe, three, and breathe, yes, two, last one, good, we'll get that other side in a second, get ready, 
stepping into that side lunge, adding on with either a curl or a clean, double clean, two-handed clean. Here we go, step it out, down, press up, yes. We'll get through this quicker because you know what you're doing. Chest lifted, even though we're leaning, here's what we don't want. I want you to get low with the weights, lean into it, drop it, yes. Breathe, and up. Good. Cleaner curl. Here's your clean. Here's your curl. Right? Breathe, and up. Good. Four clean, four more. Four, and up. Really get deep into it. Three, two, Last one, good, adding on. Take it here to here, reverse lunge, and press, make sure you have space. Down and up, reverse and press. Or curl, up, reverse and press. Good, four more right here, four. Three, last two, two, one more, yes, relax, catch your breath, take it to that other side, starting with that basic windmill for eight, then we'll add the side knee, here we go, take it down and up, whose heart rate is up, I know mine is, and breathe, down and up. Good. Four. Yes. I know you're tired, but look up at that hand. You got this. Don't let your brain talk you out of it. You are strong. You have stamina. Let's add that side knee. Down, all the way up. Side knee, just that slow, because I want you to finish the windmill and then pull it in strong. Yes, down, up, good. Four more right here, four, and in, three, last two, good, one more, ah, yes, relax. All right, team, time for a swing. Dumbbells or kettlebells? I'm gonna start with my dumbbell and I'm gonna go with my heavy one, or my kettlebell. I'm gonna go with my heavy one. If you've never done a swing before, I want you to keep dumbbells or kettlebells just with that hinge, that deadlift, same set of muscles. Otherwise, join me here. You can either have one dumbbell or kettlebell in the center, swinging it up this way, or two dumbbells in that skier swing. Let's make it good. We're almost done with this workout. Eyes up, here we go, prep it, three, Two, one, power. You got this. Keep it going. Yes, drive up through those hips, chest level or below. Lots of power through the glutes for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, swing and relax. Pedal those feet. Ah, oh, yes, good work team. All right, bring it down on your back. We gotta get more core, right? We got a lot of standing core, but let's take it here. Dumbbells or one kettlebell, up to you. We're gonna keep those elbows in. Modification, especially if you're my pre-post DR, is we're gonna do a bridge. Otherwise, we're going straight up and down. Start here, core engaged, here we go. Take it up and down. Elbows straight up so we get chest and triceps and some shoulders, right? Good, if you want, bring the feet up in tabletop, even push them out a little bit more, but make sure you can stay engaged in the center. Good, watch me here. Up, triceps down, feet down and down. Take it up and down. 
Modification is just a bridge, still getting the tries. And down, keep it going, up. Yes, here we go. Breathe, up. Good, up. Two more right here, two. Last one. Good, just your tries. Four, eight, you can do it. Seven, six, then we're gonna put these weights down. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop those toes, tap. Start it here. As you're ready, push it out. Keep it high or low. If you can, keep that bridge to modify. You got it. Elbow to knee. Keep it going strong. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax, hug those knees in, bring it up. We're gonna go back to that swing. Dumbbells or kettlebells? I'm gonna go with two dumbbells on this one. Find that balance, I know. Bringing you back up quick. Deadlift if you need to, or swing it. Dumbbells or kettlebells, here we go, power it up. You got this. So if you got that ski or swing, you're still doing the same motion, driving those hips back, right? Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax, pedal those feet. Whoo, breathe, good. Grab that kettlebell or dumbbell, one in the center. Come into that high plank. Knees to modify. Everybody take it here. We're gonna row. Gonna row, right? Elbows up. Modify, especially my pregnant mamas, I want you to be here on the knees, or you can be knees here. Elbow up. Elbow up, yes. Let's go four more with that row. We got four, three, two, one more. Good, hold it here. Rotate to the center, back to the plank. Rotate to the center, back to the plank. Modified, you're on the knees, back to the plank. Four more, right here. Take it four. And in. Take it three. Take it two. Last one. Good, relax. Pop it up. Last time swing. Kettlebells or dumbbells, whatever you got. This is your bonus move. Nothing after this, I promise. Roll those shoulders back. Here we go. Power up. You got it. Last thing of the day. I know we blew through this workout. Good, keep it going. Four, eight, seven, six. Stay engaged, I know you're tired. Finish strong, you can do it. Three, two, one. Swing that weight and relax. Ah, stretch your back. Whoo, breathe, right? <laughs> Good work, team. I know, we didn't even get any water <laughs> towards the end of that. Whew. All right, guys, so whew, let's take it one foot forward. Sit back here, reach towards that toe. All right, so after the warm up, the actual workout was right around 20 minutes, right? 25 if we're counting warm up and cool down. Either way, we got it done fast, right? If you need a little extra, check out any of my 10 minute workouts. You can use those as a bonus for and let's take it out nice and wide, roll those shoulders. Whew. And also check out my stretching and mobility workouts. Really good to add on at the end of a workout. Speaking of, I want you to take it here. If you're near a wall, take those fingertips to the back. If not, 
Just take it here and drop it down low in that lunge. Tilt that hip forward if you're able. Bring it here, yes. Whoo, good little stretch if you can get this one throughout the day. Again, if you don't have a wall, just point those fingertips to the back. Let's go ahead and take that to the other side. Fingertips back, tilt the hip forward. Drop it down if you can, get all the way down. Take it here, breathe. Good, good. And take it into all fours, round through your back. Cat to cow, just a couple. To really stretch out that back that worked so hard. Everything worked hard, right? Upper, lower, core, cardio, sit back, stretch. And breathe. And walk your feet in nice and wide. Feel that stretch at the top. Slowly roll it up again. Thumbs to the back. Be sure to check out all of my other playlists and videos here on this channel. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. When you subscribe, it helps me keep making completely free workouts for you here on my YouTube channel. If you're looking for a little more support and accountability, check out the Body Fit Athletic Club. It's a lot of fun. It is an international support community. You get new monthly challenges, new weekly and monthly clickable workout schedules with these videos from me, a nutrition plan from Vivian, our body fit dietitian, as well as direct support, personalized support from myself and Vivian. And it's just a really fun group to give you encouragement and accountability. Check it out. You can also click on the link in the description, find out everything on my website, eBooks, programs, nutrition guide, and whew, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Ah, thank you so much for showing up today and being where you are today. Big deep breath in. You showed up, you are successful. You did it. That was your full body sweat with weights workout. Great job, everybody.